Hi, I'm Amy Sweeney with Every Home Realtors, and I'm sitting here today with the mayor of Roarsford, Jenna Antonowitz, and we're sitting here in Brood Awakening. Thanks, Jenna, for sitting with me today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so I just wanted to ask you some questions, like, you know, about Roarsford, like what are some of our great locations here, like restaurants, shops, and everything? Roarsford is the full package. We have over 160 organizations in this borough, in this little nine-tenths of a mile. That's all of our churches, that's all of our healthcare providers, dentists, insurance companies, shops, restaurants. We're the place to come for breakfast, for sure. Yes, I um, agree. So if you want to eat, you should come to Royer's Ford. <laughs> On top of that, of course, we have our fire department, our police department, our fire department has a social club that you can join. We've got our nonprofits like Open Door and Project Outreach. We have it all here. And so if you want to come live, work, worship, or play in a place, have a wonderful school district to send your kids to, this is the place to be. It's great. And then what do we have going on in the community, um, like community events during the year? Absolutely. We have some wonderful annual events that are put on by not only our Parks and Recreation Department through the borough, but also our Warrior Sport Business Association, which has been around for years. We just have a lot of things going on. Every month there seems to be something. Every morning there's something going on for kids that's for free at our library evening program that's there. I just can't say enough. There's always something happening in our borough. And what do you think that uh, we have going on that's going to enhance our community? Council and our borough manager are doing a lot of work down by our trail. The goal is to connect our school river trail, Upper Providence, all the way down. Um, we're hoping to get our trestle, the trestle project, Save the Trestle, over Spring City connecting um, for Horses, bikes, pedestrians, we're hoping that will be a huge thing. Our riverfront really has come a long way in the past few years and we're hoping to really be a destination for folks to come in, grab some breakfast, bike over here, check out our cool shops that are on Main Street that are unique to this area and, you know, just make it a real place along the 422 corridor to make a stop at. You know, not every town gets a river, and no, we do. You're right, you're right. And so <laughs> we get to partner with the Hill School and O&J Roberts who have their crew teams and they come and our boat dock. We've got a lot of construction happening. Construction is a really good sign when you're in a borough. You want to see things that are happening and we've got it all the time. So what do you like most about being mayor now? You know, I love the residents and the businesses. I have colleagues across the county who, you know, they talk about, oh, you know, I tend to be the complaint center. And that just hasn't happened here. People are overwhelmingly positive. They want to tell me about all the great things that they're witnessing and seeing around the borough and or giving great feedback about an event or something. And so personally, it's been really fulfilling. It's great to get paid that way. It's great to get paid in, <laughs> in compliments and, and uh, different observations that people see around the borough. It's awesome. Thank you so much for meeting with me today and uh, you know sitting with me to talk about Warriors Ford and all the great shops and all the new things happening. So. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks.